three words I would use would have to be engaging, insightful, addictive, and heartwarming. There we are, three words. Well, actually it's four, but I suppose I've been in Poland a long time and they always like to give you more than what you ask for. Well, pierogi, uh, everybody knows about it. You have to try it when you get here. Uh, it's everywhere. You can get sweet pierogi, savory pierogi, you name it. They can make it in a pierogi. Something else you should definitely try is before you even come, maybe buy yourself one of these. This is a little dumpling maker. You can even experiment with your own pierogi making so you can see the difference between what you've created and uh, what's available here in Poland. When it comes to other dishes, soups, you know, the Polish are famous for their soups. They can make a soup out of just about any ingredient. For people a little bit more adventurous, you could also try flaki, which is tripe. Uh, and as well as that black pudding. And then if you just want some sweets, they have magnificent chocolate coated plums, which everybody loves. And again, absolutely divine and unforgettable in their taste. Well, here's your answer. I'm waiting for you right now. So hop on the plane, we'll see you soon. The two most popular drinks in Poland are tea and vodka, so you'll have plenty of opportunity to try both. My personal preference is spring and autumn. I love the uh, blooms, the blossoms, the flowers uh, in the springtime, and then as well as that I love the autumn colours and it's also uh, the cooler times of the year to travel. Summer is also fantastic, it doesn't get as hot in Poland as some of the other European countries, and winter, the uh, Christmas lights and the festive lights are absolutely spectacular. I would have to say they're some of the best in Europe. And if you love your Christmas decorations, you can also get some beautiful Polish Christmas decorations of hand-blown glass as well. I would definitely say the one thing you must try and experience is uh, the hospitality of a Polish family. The Polish are legendary for their hospitality. There's an old saying, they say that a guest in the house is God in the house. And the Polish will look after you exceptionally well. They will feed you until you burst and they won't let you go, won't let you leave the home without a full stomach. And as well as that, many toasts along the way, no doubt to your good health. And if you can take a few stories with you, to share with them about how much you've enjoyed visiting their country, you will certainly uh, leave home as a friend. I love to take guests to the places that they've always wanted to see, and as well as that, the places that they've never thought to go. Uh, this is one of the most rewarding experiences, is to show people something that they've never heard of, never thought about, never considered, or never actually even thought they would have experienced. Uh, it's these experiences which sometimes even the locals aren't aware of. And these experiences can be anything from food and drink, cafes, restaurants, bars, uh, to historical sites, to unique items, hidden treasures. And in many cases, not even the locals are familiar with them. But these places really give our guests an opportunity to experience the culture. And as well as that, gives them the opportunity to mix with the locals and get a true feeling of what the country is all about. Well, I would have to say the uh, local specialists, these are the people that are experts in their country and their cities, and they really bring the history to life uh, of the places that we visit. They are a key feature of our Trafalgar trips and uh, they're always a great hit with our guests. Now, as well as that, you also have some optional experiences, places like the Velichka salt mines, with 700 years of history, and you also have the Villanov Palace, which the Polish refer to as the Versailles of Poland. Uh, these are must-see, must-do visits, and something that you'll truly enjoy to give you a greater understanding of the history of the country and what has made it uh, how it is today. <music>